Praise the Lord and good morning. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. We pray for divine retreats and a summer speak. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreat center summer speak. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions. And let your Holy Spirit rest upon you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The entrance antiphon. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher in shindos, let him enter the King of Glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us pray for the whole world, especially all parts of the world where they are thinking for a serious lockdown coming days onwards especially over the European countries in UK, in Spain, where there it's very severely affected due to this uh, COVID-19 and different strains of its virus. So let's also pray for our country where we live in Australia, in Sydney, whatever that we hear every day, we pray. We pray for this. We pray, Lord, strengthen your children to cope up with the lockdowns. And let them, let them cope up with all that's happening in and around, not to be panic. Instead, trusting God and thinking and believing that healing and um, quietness and the calmness and the unity comes only with the intervention of God. Let them believe that. Pause for a moment. Surrendering our failures and shortcomings and ask the Lord forgiveness and pardon prepare ourselves for this sacred mystery in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. A God who, seeing the human race fallen into death, will to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son. Grant we pray that those who confess his incarnation with humble favor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. First reading, a reading from the first book of Samuel. When Hannah had weaned Samuel, she took him up with her, together with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, 
and she brought him to the temple of the Lord at Shiloh. And the child was with them. They slaughtered the bull, and the child's mother came to Eli. She said, If you please, my Lord. As you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood here beside you praying to the Lord. This is the child I prayed for, and the Lord granted me what I asked him. Now I make him over to the Lord for the whole of his life. He is made over to the Lord. There she left him for the Lord. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. My heart excels in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. A response. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labor for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. A response, my heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. It is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. A response, my heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. He lifts up the lowly from the dust. From the dung heap, he raises the poor. To set him in the company of princes, to give him a glorious throne. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. On them he has set the world. A response, my heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. We stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, King of all nations, source of your church's unity and faith. Save all people, your own creation. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit excels in God my Savior, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. And his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thorns and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with the good things. The rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors, of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear loving children of God, today's Gospel is all about the Almighty has done great things for me. That's uh, Mother Mary's Magnificat, which we all know very well and so familiar to each one of us. So brothers and sisters, as we have just heard how Mary praised God, or Mary proclaimed to God when she is filled with the joy. Maybe a question comes very often when we read Magnificat. What Mary did first. Whether she proclaimed to God or 
her heart is full, filled with the love of god what made her to proclaim god some people say when she is filled with the joy she proclaimed god some other group of thought or some other thought uh, uh, people say share when she is about to proclaim or when she proclaimed to god that is the moment she is filled with the joy whatever it is just like an old thing a old question people ask egg or chicken what comes first so nobody knows a clear or concrete or a specific answer to any of this but what is most important today brothers and sisters make our own magnificat today make our own magnificat as we are almost closing 2020 when we say 2020 this year humanly looking at this year lot of struggles challenges burdens heavy heavy bags of different types of burdens whatever it may be it's our duty today being a child of god knows that there will be struggles in this world today our duty make our own magnificat write our own magnificat and just be grateful to god whatever that we have received try to be grateful to god and just say like mary the almighty has done great things for me holy is his name that will be good when we start to write our magnificat for one or two three reasons for giving thanks i'm sure you won't stop it immediately you have more than 10 or more reasons to say thanks to god because every seconds if we live and look seriously into life it's a blessing from god the father the son and the holy spirit Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine the work of human hands it will become a spiritual drink Wash me, Lord, and cleanse me from all my iniquities. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in Your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to Your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of Your grace we might be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh 
So fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty and in all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope and so with angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without the end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, a bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have mercy on everyone who is struggling to cope up the lockdown situations in their own life situations. We pray, we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene. And all those who have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, 
formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ who said your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my but only say a word my soul shall be healed the sore not able to go to church physically today this is your time of spiritual communion you can join along with me when i do this prayer My Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament love you above all things that decide to receive you into my soul come spiritually into my heart I embrace you as you are already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen may the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life amen communion and ephem my soul proclaims the greatness of the lord for the mighty has done great things for me
Let us pray. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we might go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes. Merit the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke you. May the power of God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priest, O oh Jesus, eternal. Keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep your anointed in their hearts. Save with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. <coughs>